Welcome home, Echo. Spirit, you scared me. I don't know how that's possible. It's not like I said, boo. <sighs> Normally you welcome a person as soon as they enter a room, not five minutes later. Ah, it was approximately 1.5 seconds, not minutes. <sighs> I believe someone will be failing math this year. Ha <laughs> ha, funny. Anyway, check this out. I turned my hairdryer into a communication device. It will allow you to call people anywhere, even if you don't have a phone signal. <laughs> Dad, I'm in the lab. Oh, it's like a fancy phone. It's better than a phone. It allows you to call people anywhere. Amazing, just like a phone. Echo, great, you're home. I need to talk to you. Hold on. How are you calling me? You're grounded from using your phone. You didn't say I couldn't invent a new one. <laughs> I see you also invented loopholes to your punishment. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Spark. The transporter is set for Washington. Mrs. Spark is already meeting with the Scientific Council. Thank you, Spirit. I almost forgot my singing slides. <laughs> Echo, I have to run. Please watch your brother. Oh, come on, Dad. He already broke my sparkle spindle. Calvin's still adjusting to the adoption. I need you to let him know he's part of the family. Can't you just invent something to speed up the process? That's what big sisters are for. <laughs> I'm already late. Approximately 2.5 minutes late. Thank you, Spirit. But, Dad, wouldn't it be cool if I just made a tracking device? You know it would be really cool. Make your brother feel welcome. Ugh, Dad doesn't get it. Calvin is a walking tornado. Hey, Echo, where's Dr. S? Wanna play a game? <gasps> Wanna build something? Hey, what's this do? Is this like a, oh my. Calvin! <gasps> Calvin, you're completely destroying my inventions. One would suggest that he's just trying to spend time with you. And by one, that would mean me. Thank you for the clarification. Is this a toy? A tracking device? A freezer egg? Stop! Oh. Don't touch it! It's very important. I call it the dial dryer. Others would call it a phone. <laughs> it worked perfectly like two minutes ago. Echo! 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 What? I think I know what to do. Be right back! <sighs> he's been in here five minutes and he's already driving me crazy. He already broke my melody maker. May I please suggest that you don't do whatever it is you're thinking? <laughs> It'll be fine. No worries. I think that's what Adam said before he ate the fruit in the garden. Echo? I know how to fix your talking thing. <laughs> Warning! Intruder! Warning! Intruder! What Warning! Do do? Intruder! Warning! Intruder! Please remain where you are. Okay. Think, Calvin. Think. You can get out of this. I see you found my invisible box. Echo! Why am I in this thing? I just wanted to help. Let's talk about what happens when you touch my stuff. I really didn't mean to make you mad. I just wanted to make your thing better. You're free. No! Oh. <sighs> Movement, air, freedom never felt so good. Kelvin, do you realize the havoc you cause? I'm sorry. It's just that everyone in the family is so smart. I just wanted to show you that I can be smart too. You have a loose wire that's sticking out. I think that's the problem. I won't bother you anymore. I can be so mean. I didn't want to say anything, but you have been acting very super villainy lately. What am I supposed to do? He breaks things and he has no clue how to keep away from my stuff. He's just looking for acceptance. <sighs> Feels like he's just looking to annoy me. 
It doesn't mean you shouldn't reach out to him. You need to act more like Barnabas. Barnabas? That sounds like a cartoon animal. He wasn't. He was a man who changed the course of history because he made loving other people a priority. Okay. Please, tell me about Barnabas. Barnabas was an apostle and a leader in the early church. His real name was Joseph, but the early church called him Barnabas. Barnabas means son of encouragement. It's what he was known for. I hope you're getting the hint. It's easy to encourage people you like, but how do I encourage someone that drives me up a wall? I'm glad you asked. I was just getting to that. Fine. Please continue. Now, there was another man named Saul. He was not very nice. He tried to arrest members of the early church, and he did everything he could to hurt them. He sounds awful. He was. But something happened to him. He found God. Or, a better way to put it, God found him. How did God find him? One day, Saul was going to a town called Damascus. He had letters that would allow him to arrest anyone who believed in Jesus. And that's when he ran into God? Yes. A bright light came down from heaven, causing Saul to go blind. Bet that taught him a lesson. It did. And after God healed him, he no longer wanted to hurt people who followed Jesus. What did Saul do instead? He wanted to help them. But unfortunately, no one believed him. Why? They didn't think he had changed. They thought he was a spy. So they wouldn't accept him. Completely understandable. The guy tried to hurt them. But God doesn't want us to act that way. He wants us to be kind. Thankfully, Barnabas heard that Saul had changed and he had the courage to be his friend. Did that change the minds of everyone else? When Barnabas accepted Saul, it changed everything. How? Saul and Barnabas became a team. They went to different places in the world and told people about Jesus. Because of them, so many lives were changed. Wow, that's incredible. Plus, Saul eventually changed his name too. He became Paul and was a leader in the early church. The man who once wrote letters to hurt the church ended up writing letters to help the church. And most of the New Testament is written by him. Wow, and all that happened because Barnabas reached out to Saul when no one else would. Barnabas' actions didn't just change Saul's life, his actions changed history. I guess I need to be a Barnabas to Calvin and make Calvin feel more accepted. That would probably be a good idea. How did he even see this? Kelvin, are you there? Kelvin! I hear you, Echo. Wow, you fixed it! <laughs> Please come to the lab. I... Oh. You rang? Yeah. I'm sorry. I've been so mean. It's cool. No, it's not. You're a part of this family, and I need to start treating you like my brother. Does this mean you're still going to boss me around and not let me touch your stuff? <laughs> We'll see. But how about for now I show you the memory machine? Ready! Okay, okay, let's do it slowly. This way. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it's right here. Okay, so if you turn this a couple times. Mm -hmm. I just love it when humans act lovingly. It makes my wires weepy. 